We're at the corner of Lambert Place, Barrick Street, and Parnell Street, and also Kevin Barry Street, right at the intersection, and that's even Michael Street there, so it's a really tight corner. We're back. If you looked at my uh, little vlog, the announcement of it, we have the Pike Bar, so it's obviously been renovated since, and I want to show you what it looks like. Now, if any of you have seen my, uh, my The Fight, The Rocks vlog, I had gone inside, it's a very very nice pub and you should be making your way just up it's not far from the main street it's like a two minute walk up from the the um, kelly's on the corner up here and you can see on this street here you have the peak of the bride street church and then tesco's is right over here so it's not too far from the location so now i'm going to pop my head in and see if we can take a look okay so i popped in my head into the door I was greeted by the friendly face of Trevor Ducey, the owner and proprietor of it. And I'll just quickly show you around the pub again. Like I said, it's probably the cleanest pub in Ireland. And I'll show you around quickly to the decorations he has. And there's always racing on or football or GA or hurling on. And there's 2019. I have the jersey of that signed hang up in my house. And there's the key of Wexford. There's the ladies' room. And here's the back room part. Hopefully I don't get get uh, the music in the background might be too much. And then here's the unique urinals. I want to show you off these. So you look at the clock there. And then the used uh, Guinness kegs. And then, like I said, one of the cleanest pubs in all of Wexford town. So if you're in the vicinity, make sure you Stop by into the pike and enjoy a pint or two and the great crack that happens here. So a few of the little, uh, sure the little. You're good, mate. They always give a good right the There we go. I'll partake myself in a pint of Guinness and then be on my way. And that'll be the good thumbnail. Okay, so now I'm in the fight area, right by the Swan statue or fountain, and right across the road is Billy Kelly's. Billy Kelly's because they're one of my locals. Uh, the bar there, the lounge there, and in the back you'd have a pool area for pool tables. They have a bunch of normal pool tables and a one big large snooker table and in the rear of the property as well there's the uh, a beer garden like for smoking area so that's basically the old building and it's been around for a long long time and it's located right at the heart of the fight when you just start into the area okay so now I'm outside uh, Billy Kelly's and we're gonna take a quick walk inside the door 
But first we're gonna walk into the bar area and then we're gonna go to the pool area and we'll show you the lounge. So here's Boris. He's always here. Resident there. And then you have the bar on the inside, the fireplace which is going in this, when it's cold. Obviously there's no need for it today. And then you open up here. And then there's another part of the bar here in the back. And then here's what I told you about the, uh, the pool tables. We'll take a look at the uh, smoking area at the back. And here's the smoking area. Hopefully that music doesn't uh, give me a copyright strike. I'll edit it there if it's done too much. So here's the smoking area. So it extends the area where people can co collaborate. And then I'll show you on the right hand side you have the uh, snooker table. Which is a which is a big a big table here. It's a little dark right now, but it's not being used. We know where the lights are for it. And then the, the bathroom's here, and then we go into the the lounge. The lounge has a nice big proper telly. A couple of tellies here, and then in the back, and then here's the the bar. Like you said, it's a common theme of all the, the pictures and that that are located behind it and the Kelly's, the family crest, they have that here. And the description of it and where it comes from. And that's basically what Billy Kelly's looks like. I have a few more to come see. I'm going to... I have roughly about 10 more to say show off. So I'm going to take a break right now, uh, have a pint at Kelly's, and wait, because I have to wait till about 3 o'clock for the rest of them to open up. Okay, so just as you walk up past Billy Kelly's in the fight, on the right-hand side, you're going to come to the Swan. It's the blue building that you see in front of you, the smaller port and the higher part. That's where we're going to go see next. Philip Dowdell is the uh, publican there. He's done a lot of work in renovating it. In the last years, and it's in a date and um, the week time, it's uh, a coffee uh, house, so you get coffee and beverages like uh, Monday to Friday, and on the weekends and at nights, it becomes the normal pub that it used to be. So, here's the pub. Now, we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like inside. <laughs> okay, so we're inside the swan. Here's the swan, and uh, Leinster's playing in the quarter in the semi final. And they're 27 7 up to Toulouse. So here's the pub, what it looks like. You have the bar on the inside, there's the dartboard. And then sometimes you have music in the corner here. And they would have racing there too. They have the normal checks here, which is what you showed before. You have historical pictures throughout. These are very popular prints, you can find them all over. And then the other side of the bar, so it's divided into two, so this way you'll have a lot of functions in here. And it's all been renovated, the carpets. Here's the other bar, TV, you see the books, and there's a fireplace there, there's two fireplaces on each side. And then there's the, an old picture of Wexford Bridge, the key. There's some hurling pictures. And then you walk to the back part where he has a beautiful smoking area that's been renovated and it also has, of course, another flat screen tree V. Nice little area that's reserved. And then the open air part with the heating, the lamps, and the, uh, the umbrellas. And it goes all the way out into the corner. So you can fit a, quite a fair bit of people here. And it goes right up into the gravel area. The rocks you is out. So there's another part all the way back here. So you can have a really good function here if you have a 21st or a christening or a wedding afters. You know, it's very, very nice, well taken care of bar. 
Um, Phillips had a few pubs in town. He was the Lock and Key, which is Riley's now. He used to be the owner of that, but he's moved into this place and he's owned it and he's purchased it now. And he's done stellar work. If you look around, so if you're in Wexford, make sure you wake your way to the uh, south side of the, the, the town in the flight area. So you have, you know, you at the corner, you have Michael Kelly's, you walk up, you can have uh, the Pike, you have Billy Kelly's, you have the Swan, and at the very end, you'll have uh, the sailing cot, which is right at the back door of the Mary's and Modlin Town, which is my football club that I support. And across the road, there's a derelict building that might be renovated again. It used to be the Mary's Hangout, which is called Brady's. So we'll take a look and we'll see what it looks like on the outside. I don't know if there's, there's rumors that somebody might take it out, but there's, it's, been there, uh, it's been abandoned for about, I'd say, 14 years or so. So it's, it's going to take a lot of money to put it back right. But here is the swan, and I'm going to partake in a pint of Guinness. Okay, so I'm sitting here in uh, the swan, and I'm going to partake in the black stuff. Here's my Guinness. Let's see what it's like. Slancha. Very good. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the bell for to be notified of future videos. I'm going to be doing on this series of the pubs and wags for town. There'll probably be, be five videos, I think, by the certain areas. So make sure you hit that bell button so you'll be notified when they come up. I'm going to be doing it, editing them next couple of days and, and they'll be coming over the next couple, maybe two weeks or a week and a half. Okay, I'd be a miss as a Mary's man. If I didn't mention the defunct Brady's Pub. Brady's Pub used to be the local for the Marys of uh, Monmouth Town. Um, it's been shut down for about 14 years, I'd say. Maybe 13. Um, used to be like very, very popular with the, the, the Monmouth Town area. Uh, went out of business and it was in derelict conditions. I'd say about two years ago, like during the uh, pandemic. There was like tree branches growing out of it and that, but the council had uh, renovated and did it up a bit. Now it isn't a pub. It isn't a pub right now. Um, I don't know if there will be. Um, I know a lot of the Mary's guys would love it to open up again, but just a little history about, you know, the pubs in Wexford. And this is located right outside the Londis, right at the intersection. So if you continued on down that road, you'd end up into, uh, Wexford Town at the, by the Talbot and if you go this way it's the fight and you end up to Swan and then Billy Kelly's and then down to the Pike. So now I'm going to show you the outside of the sailing cot. Maybe we'll poke our head in. Now there is a bookies located right beside it. This used to be known as the Dolphin Bar. Right there you see the sign and here's the sailing cot. So like I said, right beside the Modlin Town, right across from the park. If you want to see my uh, the Modlin Town The Rocks vlog, I walk by and I show you all about this area. Now I'm going to poke my head in the door, see if they let me in and show, uh, show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so I walked in the door, I'm right in the sailing cot. You can see it's a, another horsey wire, you have the, uh, oh, the, uh, the decorations on the wall about the uh, proclamation and now all that you have the fireplace and that here's the pub the sailing obviously the sailing cot is known for sailing and you have uh, the water right behind you in model town and there's that and then you have the pub here with all the uh, whiskeys looks like a boxing jersey up there and then of course the Peru pool table which gets moved in the way when, when there's um, music and then you have some more decorations and seats place with a carpeted area and and then they have the uh, the toilets up here and then we go back here and then you'll have the uh, the beer garden and the smoking area 
So you see the water theme in that. And then there's some more picnic benches out back. So it holds a fair amount of people. And then there is, I believe there is a, the bar section as well. So we'll take a look at that. Looks like all the Peaky Blinders. That. Here's one located on King Street and the corner of Barrick Street and also South Main Street's right here. So it's at the intersection, it's called Kelly's on the Corner. It's the same family that owns Billy Kelly's in the fight. And here it is, what it looks like. On the outside. So if you pop it in from Wexford, there's the Barrick Street up to the flight area, and that's the main street. You can see the chapel in the backgrounds, and then there's one over here. So that one would be Bright Street, and that's Rose Street. So you see how close they're located together.